Holy crap. One percent. One percent left. Apple doubled the battery life on the Apple Watch Ultra, but is it enough to make it through a full day? Uh, can I leave the phone at home and be able to track workouts, listen to music, use the map app, make some calls, send messages, and whatever else, and end up with a, enough battery to make it through the day? Well, we're gonna find out. So I'm out on a dog walk right now. It's a little after seven. The battery is at 100%. I am using my phone to record this to keep it simple. I did turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on my phone so the two couldn't talk to each other. The phone is still on and connected to cellular. And there's a reason for that if you wanna get SMS text messages. And we'll talk about that in a bit. Back from the walk. I love this part. Now, before we continue, I gotta give props to those folks who vlog and film their day. I do not normally get up and film this early. This face ain't meant for this early. Uh, so kudos to you if you film your whole day. So anyways, we're at 7.40 in the morning now. I did a 25 minute workout for uh, almost three quarters of a mile and battery life is at 98%. Now, if you're not familiar with the Apple Watch Ultra, it has a 36 hour battery life compared to 18 hours of previous version. Versions. I found that if I used my other cellular Apple watches more than two or three hours on cellular, it might not make it through the whole day. So we are checking it out to see, can it really make it? You might be asking, why would you want to leave your phone at home and use your watch instead on cellular? Well, I've heard some great reasons from folks. Uh, one of the big reasons for having a cellular Apple watch is maybe your job doesn't allow you to have your phone or be able to use your phone while working. A cellular watch still gives you those communication tools you may need to keep in touch with the family if they need to get a hold of you. Another reason for cellular is maybe you forgot your phone. You ran out, you're on the road, and you can't go back and get it. Well, you got cellular to cover you for the day. Or you want to get outside and not have to carry a phone. It's almost 9.30, so I've had the watch on for two and a half hours on cellular, and we currently have 89% battery life left. Now I'm going to start another workout. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair up my AirPods so that I can stream an audio book. Now when it comes to streaming, you have Apple services, Apple Music, Apple Podcasts. I'd heard Spotify work, but I never tried using it. But for other stuff, you had to download it onto the watch to listen. A new one that I really appreciate is Audible. So instead of having to download uh, to your watch, you now can stream directly to a set of AirPods or Bluetooth headphones. Now to set those up, you'll go into the settings on your Apple Watch, go under Bluetooth, and then pair a new device. So I'm gonna go do this hike. I'm not gonna bore you guys with the details of it, but I'll check in after it's done and we'll see how much more battery has been lost. Okay, I finished my hike. During the hike, the whole time I was listening to an Audible book, so that was streaming while the work app, or the workout app was running. And in checking in after a mile hike, I am currently at 76%. Basically, I lost 9% by doing those two things together for a half an hour. So I finished up my hike and I went to another appointment. It's now 12.30, about 12.30, and the battery is currently at 63%. So far, it's been off the charger for five and a half hours on cellular. I've done an hour worth of workouts across two different workouts. I've sent about 10 text messages, listened to about an hour of Audible on this, and we're at 63%. Now, before we try out some more of these features, if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified of the next video. If you're not familiar with what you can do on an Apple Watch, I've included a video of 10 everyday uses down in the description. Show some of the other uses that include weather, stocks, smart home control, setting reminders, looking at the news. You can even use the Find My app so you can find your devices or even friends or family if they're sharing their location, all from your watch. So if you do lose your AirPods, 
you could get the little notification here and find them. You can even deal with emails from your watch. So if you needed to write an email or maybe respond to one, like here's an important one from Hoobs about their Hoobs Pro. Let's say I needed to respond back to them. I can scroll to the bottom of the email. I can hit reply, reply all. Uh, let's just hit reply. So we're going to add a message. And I can choose to add a message by typing it out, or I could dictate it out. This looks pretty cool, period. I'm looking forward to checking it out, period. Thanks for sending this over, period. And now I'm done and I can send that off if I want it. You can also use the Apple Watch for the Maps program. So if you're walking around in a city, this can come in handy. Just look down on your wrist. I don't, have not used it before for driving, but you, I want to check it out. Let's see what kind of impact it has on it if I use this to go somewhere and come back. Hey Siri, give me directions to Point Doom. It's showing me Point Doom, 30 minutes away. 17 miles. Okay, looks like we're going to the beach. So I'm now in the car ready to start the drive. As you're driving, it will give you turn-by-turn -turn instructions and you can actually roll through the crown uh, to see what the next step is ahead. Checking the battery, I am currently at 60%. So starting off at 60%, we'll see what it's like after this first 18 mile drive. It is now 120. I made it to the beach. That's Point Doom over there. There's the ocean all back over there. But uh, now, after doing that 30 minute drive using maps, I am down to 54%. So I'm still, yeah, I'm a good portion into my day. It is 120 and I still have over 50% left. Now let's talk about making phone calls and messages. With the cellular Apple Watch, you can take incoming calls or make outgoing calls. Now you can pair them up with a set of AirPods, which I left mine in the car, or you can make the call directly on the watch. So let's see, let's surprise my wife now, see if she answers the phone. I know she's busy working, um, but let's just call her. And we could take the call here right on the watch and we'll see. It's ringing. I think it's ringing. We'll see if she answers. I don't know. Hey, uh, you're actually on speakerphone at the beach on my video that I'm recording right now. I was just showing how you can make a phone call. Um, uh, it's good. It's actually really nice uh, today. Uh, uh, nope, no dolphins. I'm getting in the car and coming back and finishing work. But I'm demoing how you can make a phone call right from your wrist using cellular. Now let's talk about sending messages and text. If you're gonna send messages within Apple's message app, that's using the internet to communicate. So it's using cellular to communicate to send that off. Now let's say you want to send a text. The watch by itself cannot send an SMS or MMS text. What it needs is your iPhone to be connected to cellular or to Wi-Fi. Your phone needs to serve as a relay. So if I'm sending a text, I'm sending it to the internet to talk to my phone to have that essentially send it. If you wanna send text messages, just make sure your phone is on at home and connected over cellular or Wi-Fi. Wow, it's a great day at the beach. It's time to go put my feet in the water before I go back to the office. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, feet in the water, done. Time to go. Oh, getting wet. Okay, it's 3 p.m. I'm back in the office from the beach. I had some lunch. What's great is I used Apple Pay to pay for it. Uh, just a little tip out there. You don't need to have cellular to use Apple Pay. Even if you just have a Wi-Fi only version and you don't have your phone, Apple Pay will still work with it. After using the GPS on the way back, the battery's at 36%. I'm like, I would like to see this last another six hours. 36% uh, is, you know, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, like, I feel like I've thrown a lot at it now, but there's still more stuff that can be done. Now I have battery anxiety. I'm gonna listen to some music on it, maybe an hour of music. We'll see what kind of hit that does on it. And then just uh, see if we can make it to nine o'clock. I'm not sure it will though at this point. It is 7 p.m. now. It's been 12 hours since I've taken the watch off the charger and have had it in cellular the whole time. And uh, since I last checked in, I spent an hour working on a Lego project that will never end. And the whole time I was listening to music on that, that brought me down to about 16%. So I thought, you know what, let me try one more workout. Let's see if I could get a half an hour walk in and uh, half an hour of an audible book and see if we could still make it 
I am halfway through that workout and there is the 10%. If you could see that 10% came on. So I have 10% left. Maybe one more workout in an audio book is too much. Um, let's uh, let's see. Our next check-in will be, we'll see if we made it till 9. It's time for the final check-in. It is almost 9.15 p.m. And this watch has been off the charger for over 14 hours on cellular. Last time I checked in with you, I had 10% left. It was 7 p.m. at night. And I was in the middle of a workout while listening to an audio book. Now, where am I at since that check-in? Well, one, did it even make it much further than that? First, let's recap what I did do over the past 14 hours. So in this 14 hours on cellular, I did three 30 minute workouts. I streamed an hour and a half of an audible audio book. I listened to an hour of Apple music. I made five short calls. I sent about 10 messages and I used Apple Maps for two 45 minute trips in the car to get me to and from the beach. I feel like that's been a pretty good test of this watch. On top of that, you I had all the regular notifications that you would get coming in from the various apps. So I'll stop dragging it out. The percentage left and I don't know where it's at. It's 920 right now. The percentage left is holy crap, 1%. 1% left. Right there, we're at 1% and it's 919. So, oh, it just died. Live. <laughs> it may have just died now, but it died 14 hours later. I'm gonna call that a success. If somebody were to say to me, can you make it through a day on the Apple Watch on cellular? I feel like I could safely say yes. I, I'm pleasantly surprised by it. What are your thoughts on this? Do you, did you expect it to last longer? What would you have liked to have seen tried with this? Uh, let us know in the comment section. Next, make sure to check out this video over here for some more great Apple Watch information. This is gonna help you get some more out of that device. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching, bye.